Hello everyone, my name is Emily. I am a renal. Why am I speaking like a robot? Let's restart that. Hello everyone, my name is Emily. I'm a renal and social media dietitian, and I'm gonna take you along with a week of what my everyday life looks like, and we'll kind of talk about what specifically I do. First thing, today is Sunday, and Sunday is a like reset day. We're gonna start off with a little run. So we're gonna go do that. I've been running a little bit more recently, and it's been helping the mental health, which has been great, because we need all the help we can get. All right, I'll see you after. Send prayers. This is the fit. I always tend to overheat, so this will be fun. Hello everyone, this is the look. I'm gonna go chug some water and then take a very cold shower and then we can move on with our day. Yay. Hello, squadron. I'm freshly showered, it's giving wet rat. <laughs> very excited for rat girl summer. I have some editing I have to do today. I have to record a video, I have to do grocery shopping, laundry, just the like typical Sunday reset stuff. I have to also do my nails. I do my nails almost every week myself. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to show you guys my little setup. It's so cute. This is my little setup. It's so cute. Oh my god. It's a reset day. I don't I know the Sunday scares are very much a thing, but I like to take this day to like clean, do all the essentials we'll need to set us up for a nice productive week. Yeah, it's nice out, so we'll go for a little walk to the grocery store I'll take you with. But that's enough of that. Not super exciting, but that's a typical day, so let's go along for the ride. Alright, something I need to do is I'm gonna go walk to Aldi, but I need to figure out what to get. So, Bobby and I split the cooking 50 50 every week. I need to figure out my meals. How we kind of figure out recipes is I have been trying, I'm not going to do it this week because of how we're, the cooking schedule is, but I try to eat more tofu at least once. I'm trying to eat more plant-based proteins from like a environmental standpoint, ethical standpoint, animal rights standpoint. We kind of figure out the protein or if there's something in our fridge that we have a ton of extra of, we're try we just try to use that. And then beyond that, I'll like look up like recipes, like recipes using this or like chicken recipe, like something like that. Or I have a collection saved on TikTok, which have been some recipes that I'm like, oh my gosh, that looks so good. And I'll reference that. We'll see you next when we're on our way to Aldi. So riveting, such funny content. Did I even go grocery shopping if we don't do a haul? No. Also, I'm so overdressed. I don't know why I'm wearing a crew neck and leggings and it's like 60 degrees out. I don't know either. Let's get into it. Sorry, I catch my breath. We got some ground turkey. Bobby's gonna make these like really amazing turkey lettuce wraps. They're so good, cannot wait for that. We got some ground Italian sausage. I will be making this like cheese tortellini sausage tomato soup. It's so good, I found the recipe on TikTok. Oh my gosh, cannot wait for that. We got some, and this is all from Aldi by the way. Did I say that? I think I did. Got some baby spinach. I'm gonna add that to the soup. We already have leafy greens, so I'm like, we don't need a lot more. Got some tortellini for the cheese tortellini soup. We got can of crushed tomatoes for the tortellini soup. We got more onion powder. We're running really low on it. And Aldi has really good condiments slash like spices prices, so we got that. And then last but not least, I always like to have at least one fruit on hand at all times in the household, so we got a little pie. That's the haul. Next on the agenda today is we are going to record a YouTube video for this week. I have to do a book review, so catch you there. I'm 100% changing though because I'm sweating balls. We'll see you there.
And then between the running, the laundry, walking to Aldi, grocery shopping, and recording a video, I was exhausted, laid down on the couch, and talked to my sister and mom on the phone for a little bit. Even after that, I was still pretty tired, and what more did I need than a nice little snack to fuel me through the day? So we took a little break, watched some Glee. Mommy and I have been re-watching Glee and very much enjoying it. Once I was done resting, it was time to edit my video for this week. The first step I always do with video editing is completing a rough cut. This is when I go through that raw data, kind of cutting out pauses, things I don't want to include. And this is when I really figure out the music to figure out the vibes of the video. Once it's done, it's nice and it's always the first part, which is the hardest. And at this point, my brain no longer wanted to work, so we needed to do some nice mindless activities. We ended the night with some Animal Crossing. Bobby and I have recently gone back into it and I forgot how much I love Animal Crossing. Still on the hunt for Whitney. Where's my girl Whitney at? It was a nice little way to end the evening with some stress relief activities. That concludes Sunday. We'll see you tomorrow. Time for sleepy sleep time. I need to go floss my teeth. Monday, I am on my way to work. I work at a dialysis clinic. This week is kind of a slower week for me. I made a joke with one of my colleagues that renal dietitians, at least dialysis dietitians, the only sense of time we have is when labs are drawn and labs are passed back, which like if you're a dietitian that works in a dialysis center, you know what I'm talking about. I gotta get in a little bit earlier today. There are three shifts at my clinic. Um, my schedule kind of changes depending on who I need to see, which is nice and flexible. This is a fit. Do I have no space? Ooh, I love living in scrubs. I don't ever want to not work in scrubs because these are just so comfortable and I'm living my best life. And we have some podcast stuff we'll be doing later today and then some more editing and whatnot for social media so sick rad and then we'll have a nice full day we'll see you then whenever i come in on a monday i like to check with the nurses and staff about what happened over the weekend i met with some new patients worked on different assessments that were due i was listening to some of my coworkers practice a presentation on motivational interviewing they're actually presenting at the national kidney foundation conference this year which is super cool one of my coworkers brought in donuts which we always love free food we're a very food focused clinic and i think that's why we're so successful honestly because we just all are very food motivated and it was a beautiful day out today so i decided to eat my lunch outside whenever it's nice i always try to eat my lunch outside one of my coworkers actually brought in chicharron which is fried pork belly and like or fried pork rinds i think this was pork belly it's delicious highly recommend oh my gosh but i try to eat outside just because it's good for the mental health i'm not great about going outside during the week it also is good for vitamin D and creates some separation between work and some break time, which is much needed. I had a couple other meetings I needed to attend during the day, so I just ended up finishing my lunch at my desk, unfortunately. <laughs> and that concludes the renal nutrition of the day. It was time for me to head home, and we had some podcasting and editing ahead of us. every week my dietitian best friend hannah and i also known as dietitian hannah if you guys follow me on any of my socials you definitely know who she is every week or almost every week we'll try to record an episode for the upbeat dietitians podcast where we talk all things nutrition we're definitely a lot more clinical on there we talk a lot more about research talking about fad diets diet reviews all the trendy fun nutrition stuff there so not so shameless plug go check it out if you'd like after podcasting with hannah i ate a quick little dinner that bobby prepared since i was podcasting today and i'd be working a little bit later he took on dinner which was very nice of him we got to chat and catch up about our days and then i returned to my editing cave where i finished my 
my rough cut and start on the clean cut of the video. And this is when I start going through and adding effects to the video, sound effects, all the text, fun stuff that makes it a little bit more interesting. Hello. I have just edited for a very long time. My eyes are starting to get tired. 10.07, I'm gonna go floss and then go to bed. I'm gonna try to run tomorrow. I was exhausted this morning. That ends Monday. I think that's it. I don't have any thoughts. Nothing is connecting right now. We'll see you tomorrow for Tuesday and hopefully I run. Hopefully I run. Good morning. We did it. Happy Tuesday. I actually woke up to go on a run, which is always a good day when I wake up to do something before work. My brain goes at like two miles per hour in the morning, so I really don't have much else to say. We'll see you after. I did it. Look how gross I look. Bobby was literally like, you don't look like you're doing well. I'm like, because I'm not. That's how I normally look after a run. It's worth the mental clarity and endorphins. Time to get a move on with our day. Happy Tuesday. Hello. I realize I completely forgot what I've done the past two days, but I don't know if you guys care to see what a renal dietitian wears to work. It's not really that exciting, but. I ate some breakfast. I forgot how hungry I get when I start to run more. Like, I'm absolutely ravenous. I thought about just doing like a protein shake and then I was like, that will not suffice. I need more than that because right now I want like a five course meal. I'm already mentally preparing for a little bit of a later day because I have to talk to some patients on third shift today. We'll see you at work. I don't know why I'm doing these suddenly. I never do these transitions. I don't know how I feel about them. For right now, we're just gonna go for it, with it. another day another slay you know today we checked in with some doctors regarding specific patients i needed to collab with them on i worked with some of my co-workers on a diabetes presentation that we have coming up which was very exciting kind of do something non-renal nutrition it's a bit of a slower time of the month so right now i'm just preparing for that busy time and completing last minute assessments i'm reviewing any nutrition supplement med changes that patients may need and i spent this time continuing to meet with new patients because we've had quite a bit recently which is exciting this week was National Nurses Week. We got pizza for our nurses. I appreciate nurses so much and our nurses especially. So if you're a nurse, thank you. Thank you for everything you do. You guys truly put up with so much. I don't know how you do it, but we appreciate you. It was a pretty tiring day. I was mentally drained by the end. It was a, it was, it was an intense day. I'll just say that. Also, one of my patients gave me chocolate. Love them for that. Thank you. Needed it. Bobby had dinner waiting for me because he knew I was going to have a pretty late night in the office. And then I need to finish up editing the rest of my YouTube video for that week. I'd started my clean cut the previous day and at this point I needed to finish the clean cut. This is when I'm just going through adding those special effects to make it a little bit more exciting and fun to watch, really. Once I finish my clean cut, I like to do one final watch through just to make sure everything looks right and where I wanted it to be. I like to simulate the same exact experience. I watch YouTube videos, so I normally grab a snack because I'm almost always eating whenever I watch YouTube. I am very much an iPad child, I realize. Something we can work on. So we completed our watch through and enjoyed a little mango creamsicle. And our last social media-esque task for tonight was uploading the podcast episode for that week. I had to upload that for the Upbeat Dietitian podcast, which I co-host with my best friend, Shameless Plug. But can we just appreciate how cool the sky looks? 
All right, anyway, bye. At this point, it's like 9 p.m. and Bobby's out with a friend watching some NHL game. He was at a restaurant with my favorite wings and he offered to give me the said wings. Was I gonna say no? Absolutely not. He had to drive his friend back, but he dropped off the wings and I literally love these wings so much. So they might be my favorite bone-in wings I've ever had. The horseradish sauce is phenomenal and Bobby and I are actually friends with the owners of this restaurant, so they like to give us extra sauce. Yeah, I just munched away and once again at this point I'm like my running appetite is just really something Hello everyone. Wow, this white lighting is horrendous. So we're gonna keep this nice and short The editing kind of wore me out quite a bit. I tried to finish dishes but Gosh. There were so many so I ended up just doing all the lids and I hate lids so much Look at all these lids, I just hate them. But anyway, we're gonna end with that. I realize I didn't talk as much about what I do for work. I'll have a little bit more energy tomorrow because I'm done editing the big bulk stuff for let's do this week. We'll catch you tomorrow, bye. Happy Wednesday, happy hump day. We've made it halfway through the week. It's been a pretty sleepy, slow morning. I realized I forgot to show you guys my, I don't know if you guys even care to see what I wear to work, but. Wow. Scrubs all day. All right, I'm gonna go. I'll see you at work. Yay. All right, today was another pretty slow day. I met with a couple of our other new patients. I ran all of the home therapy labs and started going through them, prepping for clinic visits coming up. I also prepped the reports that I hand back to them. I give patients labs and their little report every month so they can kind of look at how they've been doing. And today was another beautiful day out, so fully taking advantage of the nice weather. Very important enrichment time. I think it's taken me three years to read this book. I'm not even exaggerating, oh my gosh. And for the remainder of the day, I had our little Chicago zone meeting and I finished up with creating the reports for the patients. They always like stickers. Stickers are great for motivation. And then I called a couple patients about their labs and that was it. Bobby and I split the cooking 50-50 every week. So since he did Monday and Tuesday, I cooked Wednesday and made this delicious little twirlini soup. And then I went on a little walk to help with the mental health because your girl is not feeling great. Hi guys. If you're wondering why I look like this, it's because I just spent 50 minutes doing dishes and I'm literally from the steam soaked. Mental health is not great right now. The walk helped a little bit. I just started thinking way too much about everything going on and it's really hard to just like ignore what's going on in the world right now when well, there's an entire geno genotype we'll call it i don't know how youtube feels about that word so we're gonna but you know what i'm talking about it feels very dystopian right now to be honest i know this does not have anything to do about being a dietitian but managing essentially multiple jobs where i have to be very on top of it and with all this going on this is not me complaining about what I'm taking on, but it's very dystopian when you see videos from the Met Gala where one ticket's $75,000 just for one person. And then you see the flash comparisons between the Hunger Games clips and what's going on now in Gaza. It's really easy to feel very helpless and not really sure what we can do, especially with how the American government is handling itself. Today, I saw that we're starting the blocking boycott. So if you ever heard of that, it's essentially blocking celebrities that haven't spoke up about what is happening right now against Geno, Geno, against Geno types, the Geno type happening right now. Where are the Palestinian people? 
like it's been seven months and you're still not saying anything. And before anyone says anything, and then we'll wrap this up. Aaron made a really good point that no one is obligated to say anything. No one, it's not their job to speak out against social injustice. And even if it's not your job or you don't have to, like why wouldn't you? Or since she said that, I'm like, yeah, like literally, why would you not want to? I'm gonna go upload videos from on my phone and my camera. I don't know. I don't know. Well, we'll see you tomorrow. Until then, all eyes on Rafa. Happy Thursday. It is a rainy morning in Chicago, so no running for me today. After thinking about what I said last night, I'm gonna link resources in the description of this video. I highly recommend trying to support the people in Gaza right now and the people of Palestine. I'll leave it at that. Make sure to check out those resources, please, to help those people. Today is my last slow day of the week. Kind of with dialysis, a lot of it revolves around when labs are drawn for the month. And then I have some plans tonight with friends. We'll see you there. So this was my last day before labs were drawn, so it's kind of the calm before the storm. I was just prepping a bunch of miscellaneous items, like last minute assessments, things that I knew I wouldn't have as necessarily as much time with once labs are back. And I spent this time calling some patients about their labs who already had them back, following up with about the pharmacy regarding insurance and assistance programs, all that fun stuff. Hello, it is time to get ready. I have to go meet my friends and since it is still raining and I do not have enough time to public transport, we're gonna have to call an Uber, which like, chilling with that and waiting for that as always. A very fun time, but I have probably 10 minutes to change into a different outfit, make myself look semi-presentable, but we'll see you there. We're changed. I just looked up the Uber and it was $30 and that makes me want to vomit. Let's go. Ooh. I had a very nice conversation with my Uber driver, which started off with how poorly Uber pays their drivers. Like my trip was $30 and she only got $12. Uber do better, which quickly snowballed into capitalism, our public transportation system, the justice system, and then the upcoming election. So, you know, just some casual Uber conversation. And then I got to my friend's house and our plan was to do a little cooking night and we made some chicken cutlets with katsuri curry and a sesame cucumber salad which was all very delicious one of my friends hadn't seen the jojo siwa karma video yet so naturally we had to show that to her and that ended our night hello but yeah we're gonna call it a night i'm so tired probably gonna go play some animal crossing highly recommend doing stuff during the week i feel like Doing stuff during the weekdays is just so underrated. Especially now, like tomorrow's only Friday. Oh, also my gonna start my period. That could explain the increase in appetite and also the emotions of it. Tomorrow is when I start going through all the labs and it's gonna get crazy. So the last night of the month to rest. And then it's madness. It's not actually madness, but it's just my, bu my busiest time at the clinic. So it'll be good. We'll see you then. Happy Friday. Macklemore's new single just hit Spotify's today, so I will be playing that on repeat. Let's get that to number one on all the streaming services. Stream Heinz Hall if you have not. Otherwise, have a good day and we'll take you along. Happy Friday. So today was the start of me going through the in-center labs. This kind of consists of going through all of the patient's labs, checking for any outliers, any notes I want to make to discuss with doctors. And then we're prepping all the labs because I talked with patients every month about their specific lab. And we continue to celebrate our nurses by getting Pertillo's, which is always so yummy. And today was actually also 
Mexican Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all the Mexican mamas out there. I started handing back labs. I went and talked to all of third shift today. Gotta pace myself so I don't overwhelm myself throughout the week. I talked to some doctors about labs, talked to patients on the phone who had questions, and that was our day. Oh, and one of our patients brought us donuts and coffee. How cute. Friday fit check. This is the mood tonight. I think today we talked to 17 patients, 18 patients. I just want to veg out, but this weekend's Mother's Day, so we have quite a bit of Mother's Day plans ahead of us. So I'm trying to be productive tonight, which Friday nights I never want to be productive, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Quick mental health update, because those are somehow coming up throughout all of this. I'm hormonal and I'm on period and bloated and having a terrible body image day, but nevertheless, we must persevere and I curse my uterus for what it does to me. Sometimes loneliness is a very scary thing and it's kind of sad that with our dialysis patients, sometimes we're the only people they're consistently seeing. And then I get emotional and I cry about it. <laughs> Anywho, don't take what you have for granted. I've been working in dialysis about a year and a half now and it has really made me reflect a lot on my life and what privileges we have that we take advantage of. If I think too hard about it, I'm gonna start crying. So I'm gonna go. Also have a good night. I will probably be checking out because I don't think mentally much else is gonna happen tonight. And nothing else much really did happen. All I did was pack for traveling out to the burbs for Mother's Day plans. And then I spent three hours editing my rough cut for actually this video you're watching now. Exciting. Wow. Riveting stuff. Sorry, no intro for Saturday for you guys. I spent 40 minutes that morning in fetal position because my uterus decided that it'd be a good idea to impersonate knives driving into my stomach and abdomen. So I did not have the energy or time to record an intro. We spent Mother's Day on Saturday with my mom and my dad. Bobby and I went out to the suburbs and all my mom requested was we walk around and go to some nature spot so we went to a couple forest preserves we went to this cute little garden okay fun fact we actually ended up near one of the chicago bears training facilities so way on yonder you could see little football players running around and music blaring we stopped at this cute little mexican restaurant i got a little burrito bowl and then we ended up dropping bobby off at his house and look at his cute little pupper hi he's so cute my mom and I got boba tea. I got an ube flavored milk tea and she got black sesame. We have another haul. Since we are in the suburbs, we're taking advantage of the cheaper prices, of course. So I figured I'd do a little haul. We went to Aldi, Jewel, and Trader Joe's. So we got some parsley for making shrimp avocado dip. And we need this for, we're going to Bobby's parents tomorrow for Mother's Day. Green onions for shrimp dip, and I'm making chicken salads this week. All the things green, celery for the chicken salad, leafy greens for more salad, feta for salad, kalamata, and this is all from Aldi, I think I said. Kalamata olives from Aldi, for mushroom soup. Avi's making a like chicken and rice mushroom casserole dish for the shrimp dip tomorrow. For some reason, they never have this in the city. But the sourdough from Aldi with the everything but the bagel seasoning, they don't have this in the city ever. So whenever I go into the suburbs, I always get it. And if I have extra, I'll just freeze the bread. And then this is all Jewel. I love the Jewel app for the quick deals. 49 cent mangoes each. They have a dollar each of black. None of you are coming out. A dollar each of strawberries. So much produce and so much fiber. We are a regular bowel movement household. We got cocktail sauce from Jewel. They discontinued the cocktail sauce at Aldi. This is a betrayal I'm still getting over. We got this major gray chutney 
for the chicken salad. And then we got some golden raisins for chicken salad. That's Jewel. Trader Joe's, I looked around and I needed to get more of these because when I got them last time, I ate all of them and didn't give any to body except the one chip. So they have everything but the big old kettle chips, which are incredible. Highly recommend. And that's a haul. We're going to now relax because we did a lot of driving today, a lot of the sun. Apparently, we might be able to see the northern light. So we'll keep you updated until then. I'm gonna go play Animal Crossing and hang out with my mom and dad. Happy Mother's Day to everyone, by the way. We'll see you. So there was too much light pollution around us, but we were able to get this cute little time lapse. So check it out. Hello, thank you for watching today's video. I did not realize I didn't record an outro. This was a week in my life though. Let me know if you wanna see more videos like this. I can talk a little bit more about renal nutrition, the social media side, dietetics, podcasting, making YouTube videos, really any of that. We'll keep this short and sweet. Like this video, helps me out a lot. Comment below if anything looks interesting to you. If there's any content or videos like this you'd like to see, let me know. And then make sure to subscribe so you can hang out and come along for the ride. And then make sure you turn on bell notifications so you don't miss any videos from yours truly. And we'll end with a quick little note because the world is on fire. We'll just end with free Palestine, free Congo, and free Sudan. I will link all the resources I talked about in my description below. But thanks for watching guys, I appreciate you. Bye.